has ever anybody said to you, you don't know enough, you have to send your horse to the trainer. And maybe you've had a challenge or a problem with your horse and you thought yourself, maybe I need to get a trainer. Maybe I can do that on my own. So in today's episode, we'll talk about why it can be actually detrimental to your relationship between you and your horse to send your horse to the trainer. Why you have a huge advantage over any trainer to build a solid relationship with your horse and what strategy you can immediately put to good use so your horse can willingly and positively respond to your requests. If you haven't met me before, I am Petra Christensen, your soon-to-be favorite connection and confidence coach. From experience, I know that traditional horse training based on control, force, domination and intimidation actually keeps our horse in a state of fear, therefore engaging in self-preservation and self-protection. And I firmly believe that these outdated training methods actually set ourselves and our horse up for scary experiences and even accidents. That's why I am so passionate to share my knowledge about female leadership, the principles of female leadership, and the principles of my program, Genuine Connections Horsemanship. I am helping horse lovers, just like you, to create a peaceful and joyful relationship between you and your horse. So you and your horse can feel safe and secure on the ground as well as while riding. And in each and every one of these episodes, I will make sure that you get at least one strategy that you can immediately put to good use to increase the connection and confidence between you and your horse. So let's talk about the idea that we need to send our horse to a trainer in order to solve problems and overcome challenges. I don't even know how many students over the years I've had that sent their horse to a trainer and the problem actually was not resolved. Now, why is that? Well, first of all, when we send our horse away to the trainer, our horse has to overcome a trailer ride, being learning to be comfortable in a new surrounding and most trainers have come from a perspective of performance and have time limitations. I've had students that were not allowed to watch the training of their horse and they have absolutely regretted to ever bringing their horse to a trainer. So what is your huge advantage? Well, first of all, you can help your horse in a known surrounding, which automatically increases the foundation of success. You don't have to overcome that your horse needs to go to a different place, needs to put up with different horses, with other training methods, with uh, different ways of stabling or feeding. Your horse stays at home and feels safe and secure there and you can build on that. No trainer will be able to build a relationship for you between you and your horse. You will have to put that effort and work in, but it is also so amazingly rewarding when we can build that foundation. I always say to my students that when they come to me, a lot of times the foundation looks a little bit like Swiss cheese, right? There are smaller holes and there are bigger holes. And we want to start out to actually fill those holes before we ever put a foot in the stirrup. Because guess what? Our horse, the split second we approach our horse, already forms an opinion of you. And no trainer can help you with that because that is up to you to show up as the lead and prove to your horse 
that with your wisdom, experience, and the willingness to make benevolent decisions for your herd of two, you can be the lead. And this is where your huge advantage can be, that you are making benevolent decisions for your herd of two. You can gain the knowledge. You can have an online program nowadays, a step-by-step -step program that you can follow. You can gain the knowledge. You can feel competent and confident in your knowledge. But you have to show up, right? And so no trainer can do that for you. <laughs> the showing up, we have to do that. So how that last piece, so first of all, like I already said, your horse will have a hard time overcoming the changes that they have to endure when they're going to the trainer. The trainer will be performance-based and will be time-limited. You, as the owner, you can provide a safe and secure environment for your horse that your horse already knows. You can take the time and you can build the relationship between you and your horse. Nobody else can do that for you. And last but not least, that third key element that I was going to talk about today was the fact that you can set it up so your horse can willingly and positively spend, respond to your request. So how do we do that? You need to use your intuition. So whenever I get a horse in training, First of all, I go through everyday tasks and I look for any missing connection, any missing relaxation, and any missing confidence. But what I also do is I always ask myself, what can the horse currently do that I am at least 80 to 90% sure that the horse can say yes to my request? And that is something that you can feel in your gut. And if you might say, well, I'm not quite sure, or maybe I can try and see how it works, then don't do it because you're setting yourself and your horse up for failure. When you can answer that question, oh yeah, my horse can do that, or I'm really pretty sure that my horse can do that, then you're over that 80% hump and you know that you have a really good chance that your horse can respond positively and willingly. And that will be a good experience for your horse so that the learning experience can be positive. And once our horse says yes to one thing, we can ask the next thing and we can step by step improve our relationship that way. So I hope my three tips today will help you to increase the connection and confidence between you and your horse. And as always, if you have any questions, please use the comment section and ask any question that you would like. I am here to help and support you and your horse. And if you hit the like button and the share button, then you would really make my day. So thank you so much for being here today. As always, I'm sending lots of love your way because love makes everything better, including our horsemanship. I'll be back tomorrow, actually at 11 a.m. Tomorrow is Wednesday, and on Wednesday, I always do the weekly Wednesday workshop webinar. And that is a wonderful opportunity on the World Wide Web to learn more about Jenny and Connections horsemanship. And if you like, you can still vote for your favorite subject. Number one is trailer. Anything trailer 101 can be an amazing opportunity to really increase the connection between you and your horse. If you would like to learn how to ride bitless and bridleless now or in the future. And what you need to know before you ever do so, that would be subject number two. And subject number three is, I had a setback with my horse. How can I minimize the damage? So all you got to do is hop on over to my group. It's called the Live and Ride with Confidence group 
on the very top in the feed actually is the poll and in that post is also the zoom link to sign up for your spot you can either show up live which is always a lot of fun and if you can show up live then i will send you the replay link as long as you sign up and if you want to make it really easy then you can just pop a yes in the comment section and i will send you the zoom link via apn thank you so much for being here as always like i said lots of love have a good night and be blessed bye now